Okay, this is a simple lesson. It's called reading a clock face. Okay, face of a clock. Well, we call this the clock face. Okay, sounds a bit like that personification we were doing in another lesson. Actually, there's a little more of that because we call these little things, these sort of sticks, we call them hands. Okay, now it's not easy to see that there are actually, well, there are actually three hands on this, but because the, uh, the small, the hour hand and the minute hand are on top of each other, they're not really easy to see at the moment. This is an analog clock. Analog. Okay, we need to remember that word, analog clock, and that's what we're looking at today. It is different, of course, to the digital clocks that we will look at later. We're not looking at that right now. This is the important one for now, analog clocks. This is what your sort of standard watch face would be. Now, there are two important hands that we need to think about on the clock face. Okay, there is the hour hand, which is a small hand, the hour hand is the small hand, and then there is the minute hand, which is the bigger hand. You might sometimes see a third hand, okay? Could you take a guess as to what you think that is? Pause. The third hand sometimes shows seconds. Now, I'm not going to be worrying about the second hand. You'll see that this clock, if you can see it in focus, has a second hand which is slowly ticking away and showing the seconds, but that's not important for right now. These are the two hands that are important. Small hand, which is known as the hour hand, the big hand, known as the minute hand. Okay. If you want to try and remember which one's which, you think to yourself, well, the hour hand is small because it only has 12 hours to touch around the clock. The big hand is really big because it has 60 different minutes to go to. So there are more minutes in a day, so the hand is bigger in size. Okay. So, hour hand, minute hand. So what are they showing us? So what I would do is I would look, where is the hour hand pointing? In fact, let's just worry about the hour hand for now. The hour hand is pointing to the three. So we are going to be in the third hour of the day. It's going to be three something, three something. Um, could be three o'clock, could be quarter past three, three five, I don't know. Let's have a look at where the hour hand is pointing now. So if I take my hour hand and it's pointing over here, where is my hour hand pointing to? Well, I can see it's, ah, it's in the tens. I know it's not exactly on ten, okay? If I got myself uh, a ruler, I do actually have one here, and I drew a line, it's not exactly on the ten, but it hasn't reached the eleven yet, so we are still in the tenth hour. So it's going to be ten something, ten something. Let's have another look. Um, what if I put my uh, hour hand and I pointed it straight down here? Can you guess what hour are we in? Are we in the eighth hour or the seventh hour? What do you think? Well, we are still in the seventh hour. Not exactly on the seventh. If you look at these hands, although this is against a bad example, it looks like it's on the eleven, but it's not exactly on the eleven. If I got a ruler and I followed it up, you can see that it's not quite on the eleven because it's not quite eleven o'clock. We're still, believe it or not, in the tenth hour. Here is your evidence. It's actually. 10.57. We are in the 10th hour. So, the little hand is showing the hours. Little hand, hour hand. You've got to remember that. Repeat it to yourself. Little hand, hour hand. So, what's the other hand? Well, I'm going to use blue for this because I've got some blue numbers on. We'll talk about those in a second. The other hand is the minute hand. Now, the numbers around the clock do not show you the minutes. In fact, you would have to times any of these numbers by five to work out what the minutes are. Because for each of these numbers, there are five minutes. In fact, you can see the little dashes in between. We've been doing some work on scale. Okay, so it's a little bit like scale, isn't it? So one times five is five, two times five is 10, three times five is 15. You can see that I've actually put the minutes in blue around here. So, let's have a look. Big hand is pointing to the 10. So it is going to be 10 minutes past seven. 10 minutes past seven, uh, or seven ten. What if I put it down here? Be seven twenty. Ah! What if I put it over here? Be seven fifty, okay? We times whatever number is around the outside of the clock by five, okay? So if my big hand is pointing to the eight, I think to myself, eight times five is 40, so it must be 40 minutes. If the big hand is pointing to the five, I think five times five must be 25 minutes. The big hand points to the minutes. So if my big hand is pointing over here, 
How many minutes is it? 15. If my big hand is pointing over here, how many minutes is it? 25. Tell you what, here's a bit of a challenge. I'm gonna get you to pause, have a go at this. If my big hand is pointing there, how many minutes is it? Pause. Well, I know it's not 15, it's not 20. So let's have a look, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. It looks like it's about 19 minutes. Okay, so let's put some clock faces on and let's see if you can tell me what times they are showing. So let's have um, this and this. What time is it showing? One hour and 10 minutes. It's one 10. There you go, nice and simple. Uh, let's have a look at this time here. Uh, let's put the, this hand here. Let's put this hand here. Can you do that one? What's the hour first? Well, it's seven. What are the minutes? Ah, 55. Let's put that in blue. Wow, this is pretty easy, isn't it? Uh, let's have a look at this. Let's put the hour hand. Anyway, here we go. Hour hand. And let's put the minute hand there. Okay. What hour is it? Simple. I'm going to put nine because that's the hour. Um, what minute is it? Well, it's past 25, 26, 27. It's around 27. Okay. Right. Reading clock face. Nice and simple. Tell you what, all I'm going to do, I'm going to put a few times on the board for you to have a guess at what the time is. So, let's rub all of this out. Let's put you down three or four clock faces. Really easy to draw up a clock face. I'm gonna do one, two, three clock faces for you, okay? I'm just gonna mark these points. I'm not gonna put all the numbers on it because you are gonna try and work that out. A bit of this activity is going to be estimating. So, I've got my first one, which is going to be there and there. I got my next one, which is going to be there and there. And I got my next one here, which is going to be uh, there and there. Okay, pause. See if you can work out what time it is, even though I've not got the numbers in. What time is it? Okay, now that you are back, let's pop these little extra dots in. That's going to make it a little bit easier for us. All right, let's have a look at the first one. Remember, the hour hand is a small hand, so where is it pointing to? One, two, three. So we're at three. Now the minute hand is the big hand. It's pointing to the one, so I'm gonna do one times five is five, so it's 305. Let's have a look over here, where's it pointing to? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hour hand's at the nine. Where is the big hand pointing to? One, two, three, four, five, six. Point to the six, so for the minute, six times five is 30. And uh, last one down here, our hand is pointing down to the six, and the minute hand has gone one, two, three around, three times five, 15. Hope you got them right. Right, what I want you to do at home, draw yourself a load of analog clocks, yeah? And then what you're gonna do, pop the hands on, work out the time, write it down. I wanna see it, email it to me, off you go.